Good morning. Today we're going to work on a uh, function summary. Uh, I was taught calculus uh, by Dr. Wilson and he has the, the function summary method. It's a way to organize, organize your work to lead up to curve sketching and let you know what derivatives are telling you about a function. I think it's a really good uh, way to approach derivatives and calculus and limits and it gave me a way to organize my brain and I liked it. So uh, here's an example. Uh, we start out with a function and this, this video is going to be in several parts and I won't talk this much, sorry. Uh, but uh, three things we're going to need. Uh, well, I guess nine things we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need the function. We're going to know, need to know where the function is equal to zero. We're going to need to know where the function is undefined, if any. Uh, we're going to need to know the first derivative, where it's equal to zero, and where it's undefined. And we're going to need to know the second derivative, where it's equal to zero, and where it's undefined. So in this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function, f of x equals 3x uh, cubed minus 2x squared, and the second derivative, we're going to find where the function is equal to zero, where it's undefined, and uh, same with the first and second derivative. So I start by saying where is f of x, oh, don't know why I was already jumping to the prime, f of x is equal to zero implies x is equal to what? Well f of x is equal to zero says we take the, it's an x-intercept, 3x cubed minus 2x squared equals zero, have a common factor of x squared, pull that out, 3x minus uh, 2, not 1, equals zero. So of course we can see there that x equals zero and x equals uh, two-thirds two-thirds. Uh, f of x equals zero implies that x equals zero and x equals two-thirds. So um, f of x is undefined. Uh, I like this little symbol, there does not exist, um, or there is none. Uh, well, this is a polynomial function, so it's never, none, whatever. I just, that that's a good process, so I like that. So now we'll go on to the first derivative, and hopefully I can get this all on one page. Uh, the first derivative is, of course, uh, 3 times 3, bringing the power down in front, is 9x squared minus 4x. f prime is equal to 0. Again, same process as before, except actually even a little simpler. So we have 9x minus 4 equals 0. That implies that x equals 0 again, and x equals, what, 4 over 9? Yes. And again, uh, and I'm just going to write it right here so I have enough room for the second derivative, uh, f prime of x is undefined, or it does not exist, there it exists, it's never, again, the derivative is a polynomial. So finally, we'll take uh, the second derivative. So f double prime of x equals, what, 18x minus 4. f double prime of x is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to uh, 18x minus 4 equals 0. Uh, so that means that x equals uh, 4 over 18 is 2 over 9, so x equals 2 ninths is the only value, and again, it's a polynomial function. The second derivative is a polynomial, so, uh, sorry, there does not exist, and we can say never again. Yeah, I did put that up there. So now, uh, scratch this down in your notes, whatever, um, I'll probably restate you know things throughout, but this is this is information we need. Uh, f of x, where it's equal to zero. These will be x-intercepts, so it's part of the function summary method. Uh, that's a detail on it. Uh, where it's undefined, uh, we don't really have to worry about that with this as a polynomial. But where f prime is equal to zero, uh, and where f double prime is equal to zero, all those things are really important. Um, so go on to the next.